Awesome, so I wanted to share something fun with you today. Tim Ferriss recently recommended an Amazon FBA product to over 1.5 million people on his email list. And for my own personal usage, I tracked the effect that this actually had on the product, how many products did it sell, how did the bestseller rank change, and it was a very interesting result that was actually quite predictable, and I wanna share that with you today. So we're gonna start on Tim Ferriss's blog. So tim.blog is his website. If you're unfamiliar with Tim Ferriss, he's a incredible entrepreneur. Uh, he wrote the four hour work week, the four hour body, four hour chef. Uh, he's like a three or four time New York Times bestselling author, and he now runs a very popular podcast. So highly recommend checking him out if you don't know him already. But for most people who do know him, you probably know he has an email list where he does a thing called Five Bullet Friday. So every Friday, he emails out 1.5 million people. You can see right here, 1.5 million subscribers. Just the five things that are on his mind, like what he's listening to, what he's recently bought, uh, the meditations that he does, his top Instagram post. And it's a genius idea just to stay in touch with his list and also give them some value, recommend things that he's actually using in his day-to-day -day life. So I'm a subscriber of this along with a lot of other people, maybe you, and maybe you got this email, and I saw this one recently, it came in, and I saw down here, so you can see he does what he's watching, what he's listening to, Just it's just a song and a, a link to the artist, what he's reading, um, because he's a very fascinating man, and here's his books down here. Um, people are just curious at what he gets up to. So he says, what I'm loving, the Amolia Mason Jar Foaming Soap Dispenser uh, with the Dr. Brunner Soap. And when you click on this link, and I can click on it right here just to show you, you come over to an Amazon product. Now you can see it's got 129 ratings. Amolia is a pretty decently sized brand. You know, they're not a tiny little mom and pop private label brand, um, but it's still fascinating to see the effect that this is going to have on how well this sells. Now, you can see that before we go into the details, I wanna show you that they're quite a well-optimized listing. You can see their photos are clear. They've got lifestyle photos in there. Uh, they've got accessories that come with it, little bits of stickers. Um, here's a little diagram thing. Uh, they've got a good uh, Helium 10 score description. They just need more characters in their description, and they've got a 10 out of 10 score, so this is their description down here. And uh, they sell a few variations. So they've got a two-pack, and they've got a one-pack, and I guess these are just the colors. So they've got black, bronze, or brushed nickel. So it's a pr quite an advanced listing, uh, one that's run by quite a popular company, Amolia. I'm going to open that so we can see their other products. You can see they sell accessories for it. They sell more accessories for it. They're just a bathroom brand, which is, once again, the best way to do Amazon FBA is to build a brand where you can cross-promote your products. You can build a core customer list that you own, and you're not depending on Amazon going into 2020 and uh, pushing through all these years where it's not a smart idea to only depend on Amazon. We want to build our own brands around our products. And I'm going to come out with more content to show you how to do that. But essentially, Amolia, they're a bigger brand and they're doing really well with that. Now, down here is the Helium 10. It used to be Keeper, but I've now switched to Helium 10, which is a hundred times better. They're a tool suite. Um, I'll link it up in the description if you don't have Helium 10 yet and would like to use this. Um, they have about 10 to 12 tools that are really, really helpful for your Amazon FBA journey. And you can see this is a history of the bestseller ranking for the product. So this is the product, um, and you can see bestseller ranking if you don't have um, Helium 10 down here. It's ranked 10,165 at the moment, which means it's the 10,165 best-selling item in its category, and the category is home and kitchen. And if you want to see the top 100, you can open this, and it's around Christmas time, so you'll probably get a lot of presents and gifts and see which products are really just absolutely taking off right now. And this is a good way to get some product ideas that have proof of demand. So that being said, we're at the 10,000th best-selling product, but where was this when Tim Ferriss recommended it? Because obviously, if he pushes 1.5 million people, of course, 1.5 million people aren't going to open, read, and click on that link in the email. But even if there's a couple hundred thousand people who are pushed to this and a few thousand people buying it, where does the bestseller rank drop to? How well does it perform? So to get that data, we're going to switch from 30 days, because it was more than 30 days ago, to 90 days. And immediately, you can probably see exactly where Tim Ferriss promoted this product right here on this drop. And you can see they went from an average up here. You can see they're at 20,000 bestseller rank up here. Again, 17 
averaging about 13, and they dropped down every now and then. You can see they got down to 7. They got down to 6.7 6 there. Um, but, you know, they're around the 10,000 bestseller rank here. Tim Ferriss promotes their product, and it just drops off a cliff face. It goes from there all the way down to, and we can get the lowest number, cracks the top 100. looks like 85 is the lowest uh, sales rank that it actually hit, which means it's in the top 100. It gets displayed on the bestseller charts. And you can also see that Amolia was smart because they the blue line is the price. They jacked their price as the new sales are coming in. So they're making the most of this traffic because they know they actually can't. And I don't know. I took a screenshot. I'll, I'll see if I can dig it up and I'll pop it up here. They actually ran out of stock during this promotion because so many people came and bought their bought their product thanks to Tim Ferriss. And they kept putting their price up, putting their price up. But they actually ran out of stock and they were taking pre-orders for when their stock got back in, which is why it was able to sustain a slower curve up and not just bounce all the way up. But the interesting thing is you can see it does always bounce back up because Tim Ferriss isn't promoting it every day and you can't keep it under 100 every day. And the fascinating thing is, yes, it's probably averaging quite a bit less than it was before this promotion. So you can see before the promotion, we'll say it was averaging at about 13,000 bestseller rank. Remember, this is important because the lower the bestseller rank, the more product that they're selling and therefore the more profitable they are. And you can see now it's probably averaging, averaging about 9,000. So it definitely dropped in average. But I would like to come back in about another 30 days and I would suspect that the bestseller ranking will continue to climb and probably average back around 10 to 12,000 overall because one of the main things with Amazon FBA is your product needs to be sustainable. You need to be able to uh, get con continuous traffic here. It's not about getting like a flash in the pan, a big shout out going and really getting your listing popping, even though that made them a lot of money. Now they sold out a lot of stock, they can reinvest that, they got a lower bestseller rank now because they handled it perfectly. If this is for you and this is you launching your product, you have to understand that you wanna have a more gradual incline to your bestsellers rank when you're launching. This is how we get sustainability and this is how we make money over the long term. Another product that Tim Ferriss recommended on another Five Bullet Friday was the Monoprice Microphone Isolation Shield. So you can see here, this is the Isolation Shield. Less good photos, um, 8.04 out of 10. They've only got three of them, you know, they're not that lifestyle based um, photos and they're less of an impulse buy too. You know, as this product web and SEO expands for this, less people are gonna see and be like, oh, I'll grab one of those unless they actually do recording with microphones. So you can understand with these foaming soap dispensers, a lot of people have apartments or houses that they could put these in where this is less of an impulse buy and they would benefit less from a shout out like this, even though they'll get some sales when Tim recommended it. Now, we're already at one year, but if we come back to 30 days, you can see right here is where Tim Ferriss recommended it. They had a sales rank and they're already doing really well. You can see um, this is a very good um, product that are, that are maintaining a very low sales rank even without Tim Ferriss's uh, recommendations. And this is what you really need to do. You can't depend on these big influencer shout outs and you can actually see that they're doing worse post influencer shout out than they were before the influencer shout out. You can see this is, um, and when I say influencer shout out, I'm talking about Tim Ferriss who was an influencer who shouted out or promoted their product to his list. You can see you got a, they got a great drop once again, cracked the top 100 sales rank, which is amazing, but it's not the best thing in the world because you're better off having a mastery on a pay-per-click on Amazon, being able to target one keyword and be able to spend 50 cents and make a dollar every single day because that's gonna be sustainable in order to get your product web and your SEO rankings up and be able to transfer to all that all those organic sales. And you can see this is a good example where the, the influencer shout out sort of fell flat because it made them a lot of money while it happened and hopefully they didn't go out of stock. And then afterwards it just bounced back even further back to where it was. But this is the thing is when you, once you zoom out, you can't even see the influencer shout out. And that's what you want for your product. You want your product to do so well that you don't need to use these influencer shout outs. And if you're doing something like this, you can get in front of 1.5 million people on Instagram. It's not gonna be as powerful as of course Tim Ferriss, but you can do this and you can buy these sorts of promotions for your brand. However, don't depend on them. Work on something that's sustainable. Work on having such an incredible product that you are getting a lot of organic customers in. Work on your cut. Work on your photos. Work on your description. Work on your SEO. Work on 
uh, making sure you're finding these keywords that other people aren't optimized for. Don't go for the massive ones. It's going to be too competitive if you're in the US store, that is. Go for the longer tail keywords and Helium 10, once again, have a great tool on that. I'm going to be coming out with more content for you to show you how you can actually get this to be sustainable and get this to work for you in the long term and not just be a flash in the pan, make a couple of dollars or even just break even or some people actually lose money in the short term. I want to show you how to avoid this and 2020 is coming up and you can see Amazon is going to do more money than ever. These are the uh, global revenue predictions of Amazon, which are already inaccurate because you can see in 2018, they predicted 201 billion, where I think they put away about 235, 236 billion dollars. So they <laughs> exceeded those expectations this year. They're going to be close to the 300 billion mark, and 2020, which is next year for at the time of this recording, they're going to be well over 300 billion. So there's going to be more demand than ever, but it doesn't mean it's going to be easier than ever. You're actually going to have to be more better. It's a, one of the worst words. You have to be close to perfect because there's a lot of people flooding this market with amateur listings. And you need to make sure your mar marketing is amazing. You need to make sure that you are in the right niche. You need to make sure your photos are amazing. You need to make sure that you master this process so that you can rise ahead of the hundreds of thousands of people who are flocking to Amazon FBA. And I'm going to be launching some transparent launches and some really high quality content to help you do that in 2020. And I'm excited to do that with you. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.